we are to find the critical value z sub alpha over 2 that corresponds to the confidence level 90%. Since we are asked to find a critical value that is identified as a z value, we know that we will use the normal distribution to find this critical value. So if we have a 90% confidence interval, then that means that 90% of the distribution would lie between two values that are symmetric. If there is 90% of the distribution lying between these two values, that means that 5% of the distribution would be in the tails. So what we're looking for then would be the z-score that would then place 5% of the distribution in each tail. There will be a positive and a negative value. So we'll click Question Help and StatCrunch. Once StatCrunch opens, we'll click Stat, Calculators, Normal. We would like to find the z-value that would leave 5% of the distribution in the left tail and 5% on the right. There are a couple of ways to do this. We will leave the mean at 0 and the standard deviation at 1. Then we will change the value in the last box to 0 0.05. This corresponds to the proportion of the distribution that would be less than a value that we are looking for here. Then we'll click Compute. And we see that this value is negative 1.645. This red shaded area then would be 5% of the distribution. Note that if we change this to greater than and then change the value again to 0.05, it gives us the right tail value, which is positive 1.645. We could also click between. Now we have a shaded area that is between two z values. Now we'll change this value at the end to 0 0.90. This would be the area between the two critical values. Click Compute. Note we still get the same values, negative 1.645 and positive 1.645 when we round to three decimal places. You can see that the shaded part of the graph is the part that is between these two critical z values. So we see that in order for 5% of the distribution to exist in each tail, the z-score on the left would be negative 1.645 and the z-score on the right would be positive 1.645.